skin incisions. Surgical incision denotes the intentional wounding of a patient in order to treat his discomforts. The surgical incision should be planned and performed considering the therapeutic aims, practicability, and the functional and cosmetic results of scar formation. Skin incisions are ideally planned considering these factors. Langer skin lines. Thorough knowledge of Langer skin lines is required for the placement of the precise surgical incision. Langer skin lines or skin tension lines represent a map of the direction in which the tension in the skin is maximal at different body sites. They correspond to the alignment of collagen fibers in the dermis. Clinical significance. Surgical incisions made in the direction of these lines, horizontal incision, heal better with less tension. It also carries less risk of wound dehiscence. For example, in the case of hernia surgery, a horizontal incision is preferred due to better healing, and a vertical incision is avoided. This is particularly important for face and scalp surgeries, where scars are not acceptable. Cuts or wounds perpendicular to Langer lines gait more and can lead to delayed healing with poor aesthetic effect. Cutaneous and subcutaneous tissue atrophy develops parallel to these lines. Anatomical structure. Incisions should be avoided on bony prominences and skin creases if possible, and underlying structures such as nerves and blood vessels should be considered. Cosmetic factor. Incisions should be made, keeping in mind to produce a better cosmetic result. 1. It's recommended to give incisions in pre-existing wrinkles or behind the hairline for the areas such as the face or the female breast to conceal the scar. 2. Hand and feet incisions should be given along the lines of Brunner to prevent scar contraction. 3. As for skin incisions, abdominal incisions are planned electively, considering landmarks, access to the organs, control of pain, etc. Hence, standardized abdominal approaches should be employed. 4. Transverse abdominal incisions cut through fever dermatomes as a result. There would be less postoperative pain. It's also associated with minimal respiratory complications with a better aesthetic outcome. 5. Special incision in exposed areas, incision behind the hairline, and the inframammary fold. Hands, Brunner's incisions. 6. On trunk. 1. Kotcher's incision. 2. Median sternotomy. 3. Thoracic transversal approach. 4. Dorsolateral and anterolateral thoracotomy. 5. Subcostal incision. 6. Epigastric median laparotomy. 7. Epigastric transverse laparotomy. 8. Pararectal incision. 9. Median laparotomy. 10. Paramedian laparotomy. 11. Hypogastric transversal laparotomy. 12. Gridiron muscle splitting incision. 13. Fennin Steele's incision. Special incision lines should be planned in the case of tissue rotation, transposition, or interpolation flaps, such as Z plasty. It's a useful technique to treat scar contractures, multiple W plasty, camouflage of extremely visible scars in exposed areas. Surgical incision technique. The incision should be rectangular to the surface of the skin. It should involve the entire depth of the skin, that is, both the epidermis and dermis. The occurrence of hypoperfusion at the wound edge caused by tangential slides is reduced with this technique. During skin surgery, tweezers should not be used for holding the skin, as it may cause tissue damage at the wound edge that could delay the wound healing. Instruments for Surgical Incisions The Surgical Knife A skin incision is made with a scalpel, and with the blade pressed on the skin at the right angles. Scalpel blades vary in size and shape. The 15 blade is used for minor procedures, and a 22 blade scalpel is ideal for an abdominal incision. That's all for the video. We'll see you next time.